Watch that villain. You. You. You watch that villain shit? Nah, not yet. I'm on grab there watching it now. No. That looks funny as hell, son. Oh. Funny. Okay. It's more funny than this one. It's, 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 more, it's more brutal, though. I think that hate where he like one of the um, niggas that they be saying, like, turn roll and shit. Man. I like the dude that played the character that nigga and shit like that. I don't got some good movies. What? That dude that played the character of Venom. Yeah, I mean, you got the game or something? Say it again? You got the game? I can't hear you. You got the game? What game? The Venom game. Oh, you got a Venom game? Nah, I think that's what you're saying. Oh, no, 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 no. I said I like, I like the character, the character of Venom, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, he got a... Like he got a movie like when he um he a boxer and shit like and his father his father looked more into the the brother and shit than him. Like he sat there and raised his mom and shit like that and he was a boxer. He was like a little tough, tough dude and shit like that, but he's a boxer and he ended up boxing his brother and shit for the championship. To my Eddie he, brothers, right? I think yeah, that's his name. Yeah, Eddie. Yeah. Did you read like, like the um movie or the comic book? No, 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 no. I'm just thinking when you had said the venom and shit. Like, I, I like the character of the nigga. That's why I, I like watching that nigga and shit. The character, the dude, like, home a good character. Like, like he, he got a movie when he, like, yeah, in London. Yeah, yeah, I know the movie you're talking about. That boxing shit, yeah. The boxing shit, and he, his brother's like, yo, tap, man, tap. And he ain't tapping it. His brother snapped his motherfucking arm and shit like that. Yeah, I ain't even watched that shit. I just, I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Yeah, that, that's 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 a real that's a real 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 good movie. Like, and another one when he's from like the UK, he he it's it's two of him. He got a twin brother and shit. Like, and one is just a killer, one is a straight don't give a fuck about shit. One just to kill you with no problem and shit like that. And and they be talking crazy. Hey, 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 what, what, are you, what are you doing over there? Hey, get the fuck out! Like they, they talk crazy and shit like. But they brothers supposed to be brothers. It's the same dude. Oh shit! You circle. But it's the same dudes and shit like that. And the motherfuckers run, they, they they run London and shit like that. The UK or some shit like that. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a good, good ass actor and shit. Damn, that's your dude, bro? I was with that nigga, though. Nah, that's, that nigga big as hell. Yeah, hell yeah. I do purple, bro. I hit different. My dude, purple. I'm open. Ah oh, man, way too late. Damn, I forgot you was fucking circle again, bro. Oh shit. I thought when they missed the ball, yo, uh. you 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 think for for the reset though, bro. I thought, you know how you miss a ball and shit? I, I, I thought the shit reset, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you lost all your speed and they miss a shot, it resets to automatically full up. My shit wasn't full. My shit was still motherfucking, like, 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 low. It's like, for some reason, yo, these niggas is blocking me out crazy, bro. Like, if, but like, if I got my 70-something guy or something, yo. That's how my man playing like yo. Like I'm a like I'm a low rank or something, yo. Look, see I can't take off, see? <laughs> Look, 
Look, look, look, look, look at my man running like, like a, yo, bro. Man, be quiet, crook, man. Just let this shit go, bro. This shit dumb as hell, man. It's like my man don't take off for shit, bro. My man sit there and just sit there, bro. Like... Yeah, they yeah, they fucking was, bro. You gotta win five games just to get a fucking um 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 some boost and shit like that. Some boost in the basketball and saying no. You gotta win five games and shit like that. What kind of goofy shit is that, bro? Just for a ball and some other shit, then you gotta win like seven games for like ten thousand VC and that shit like that. That shit is whack, bro. That's why they cancel that shit, huh? <laughs> look, look, see, he'll take off then like you like you fall, like you just stop him from from, from taking off, bro. Kawhi Leonard. Like tons of slots. Well, 
Lil Durk is in some serious trouble. After legal issues dogged him throughout his career, the OTF founder has risen to become one of the biggest stars in hip hop over recent years. From there, he seems to embark on a positive path and rebranded himself. But it now appears like he couldn't escape the streets of Chicago like he hoped, and the pressure to prove that he was really about that life might have caught up with him again. Because now, he's looking at a serious case which could bring his empire crumbling down forever. It's a good place to, and this is Lil Durk's road to a life sentence. In recent years, it seemed like Lil Durk had really turned a corner in his personal and professional life. Once the voice of the trenches, Durk has shifted from Chicago drill to make radio-friendly tracks with the likes of J. Cole, Drake, and even country star Marty Long. On the personal side, his days of putting on glamorin or repping the BDs seem to be long gone. Instead, Durk wanted to be the model citizen of folk music. Recently, he took a huge step towards that, and he got himself a clean record dating all the way back to 2011, when he first had the trouble. Everybody should get a second chance at life. It's about what you do with it. I'll be the best. My background wiped and cleaned all of my cases. I ain't a felon no more. Who'd have thought? I want to thank everyone who helped push my vision forward. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hashtag the voice. Along the way, he launched his neighborhood hero nonprofit organization in 2020, pledging to stop the bloodshed in Chicago once and for all. Even though he knew it was a tall order. You know, that's the number one goal. I mean, that, that, that's the number one goal to stop it, but the, the number one priority for like us in the streets and like the uh, politician wise is to stop the violence and slow it down as uh, much as possible. And it started with everybody like just coming together. But like I said, it's hard because you probably got him on good thinking he that, but his young niggas don't even respect him. So even if he be like, when it's coming together, they looking at his ass like, what the fuck on what? What are you thinking? As Dirk continues to occur, he got increasingly open about his own issues. Earlier this year, he revealed that he was just back from rehab in an effort to not only cure his addiction to Xanax and Cardi, but also to make a fine example of those who are up to him. I'm going to embrace it, you know what I'm saying? Because they have to be a lot. So I want people to not run from them or be shackled. Planning on building a rehab center in Chicago for others like him, he also saved the life of his friend OTF Duty by paying a hundred dollars for his own rehab stand. Now he Grammy nominated That wasn't your murder though, bro. Murder case, bro. That was bomb murder case, bro. Yeah. 
anime crook. The fuck did I say? Too slow? Too fast? Ranking member of the crew, intent on catching up to Quando and his crew, they tailed them throughout the day until they reached the fateful gas station where they would spring their attack. While Quando escaped unharmed, Lil Pop was left dead at the scene, while the famed rapper cried out in pain over his fallen friend. No! <laughs> Saying all these things that be trying to talk like that, but you's a you's a blood though, bro. Whoever you is, Paru blood, like you, like you, what y'all doing, like you know what I mean? What y'all just selling breadcrumbs and shit like that? Like what, what, what you y'all not killing niggas and shit like that? What, 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 what y'all saying? Like 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 get the fuck out of here! Like I hate niggas go. That's what I'm saying. Like these cracks be having these dumbass niggas all fucked up. Like what he gonna do? Go get a gun and come back and kill a bunch of things that he got something to do with? If that's your homie, hell yeah, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, game? You goofy ass nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. May have been more rattled by the comments. That nigga Vaughn said it. Nigga, nigga's gonna slide me when I'm dead. Nigga, fuck you talking about, nigga. That nigga six nine say nobody slide for you while you dead. Nigga, niggas end up dead. Nigga, now it's a big thing because Vaughn, because this nigga stood on business and shit like that. When we get that nigga cleaned up for killing Vaughn, like, but I don't make no fucking sense. Like, yo, you got niggas talking and shit like, like game. What you just a fucking gang member to be in the gang, bro? Just to say I, 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 I'm blood, yo. Yeah, nigga, I'm blood, son. Yeah, hell yeah, nigga, I'm blood, nigga. Like, nigga, what y'all doing being blood, nigga? Y'all ain't eating all fucking cookies and goddamn ice cream and shit like that, man. What the fuck is y'all doing, bro? What's gonna make it better and shit if the nigga go kill somebody for bomb? What's gonna do for him? Like, nigga, that's my nigga. So called for they have been my nigga, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? What did they have been my brother? Maybe you heard Evil Twins, the song and shit? Evil Twins and shit like that? Fuck you, that's my ride or die partner, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? I'm not put the ride for my nigga. Hey, niggas that up niggas that get inside gangs and shit be trying to speak like nigga. Yo oh, dumbass up. He acted and set out a plan to get his revenge. At times, even openly alluding to the death of Lil Pop in a way that prosecutors are likely to construe as taking responsibility for the killer. 
Play that in court and shit like that. So you better get put on the fucking spot, nigga, being a fucking snitch, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Niggas be out here and shit like niggas be knowing and shit like that. Niggas don't move like that, bro. Niggas move in silence, nigga. Now, Brick Baby, you out here telling motherfuckers and shit that niggas sliding for motherfucking niggas. They ain't got to say that no more because niggas done slid for wine and shit like that. You done rat it, bro. They gonna play that shit in court, bro. You got it. That's why nigga rushed you and got your fucking shit and shit like that, huh? You dummy. But you could be a gang member too, crit. Yeah, rolling sixty crit or whatever fucking crit he is. Crit, nigga. Straight crit, nigga. Straight snitch, nigga. Straight snitch, nigga. Police, police ass niggas, man. Any nigga on a fucking podcast is a fucking cop, nigga. <laughs> Niggas be getting niggas convicted and shit like that before the fucking niggas can do that shit like in the fucking crowd be the niggas in the fucking comments and shit. Yeah, no, niggas did this right here, niggas did that, niggas. God damn it again, bro. Say that no more. Oh, brother, how could you get it? Nah, because little pie. Oh! What the? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that. And then it's like, yo, ain't you a pull beer? Like they said, you a rolling 62. Like, so you was ratting on Quando Rondo the whole time and shit like that to get the like, and then you laughing about this shit inside the video and shit. So you still crit, nigga? Nigga still let you be crit, nigga? You try to set up one of the motherfucking homies, nigga, and nigga still let you be crit, nigga? <laughs> and big you stand that? Ah, uh, it's middle man. What's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term on it. Like, no more slide for mine. And <laughs> no more flying for Vaughn because they killed Pop Pat. That's not fucking the nigga that gun, that gun. This uh, niggas is fucking, I don't know what the fuck is going on. That'd be the social media, man. Social media at its fucking finest, man. Told niggas and shit. Dirt wasn't no goddamn GBG. Dirt was lamb raw. Dirt was, there was about music. It wasn't about goddamn murders. Only Reese was, and a couple of them, um, the 300 niggas. That's why Reese was in old block, fucking with old block niggas in the tenement building, fucking with fucking Vero and the niggas and shit. Niggas is different. Now, see, told you Dirt know how to move, bro. Now you move like that now and shit, and look what, look what it caught you. What they kept saying, Dirk was not, not like that, man. Dirk was a regular-ass fucking person and shit, man. You got around a bunch of killer-ass niggas and shit, and niggas put all that killer shit in your, in your head. 
How you walking around and shit, seeing dirt father? Yo, your father stone cold gangster, man. Your father killer, nigga. Stone cold killer, nigga. Oh shit. I think I just had to set that nigga deeper up, huh? Looking back, this was a direct violation of how Dirk liked to conduct his business. Because if he was more driven by cloud, he would have been all over the internet mocking Kwanda. Instead, he kept it in the strange blurred line between reality and fiction that hip hop represents. Where artistic expression and confession uh -oh. are hard to really define. The goal is not to go to jail. So you have never seen me do tough shit on here to look street. I am the street. As Lil Pop's death entered the rear view mirror, and his family tried to pick up the pieces like bombs before him, Dirk continued to publicly renounce the street life. I'm going to start by getting the city together, he told Rolling Stone at the time. To do my part, to slow down the violence. Even if you do 99% of shit right, you still got 1% of the demon with you. You get angry fast, then one reply can fuck up a billion dollars. That's why I'm not saying names no more in my music. I ain't speaking on the dead no more. None of them. I'm not chasing death no more. I'm chasing a billion dollars. Come on, bro. To be able to have Just give me the ball, bro. Intent on acting like the street life was behind him. Dirk continues to act like a role model in the public eye. But it's fair to say that he still adhered to elements of street code. For one thing, he had a vocal hatred of performance. Not only that, he claimed that he had an ability to sniff out a rap from a mile away, just like he did with Takashi 69. I really hate rats with real passions. Like, I hate you. Bad. I'm looking to the camera. I hate Brett. But it turns out his senses weren't as attuned as he thought. As a result, it appears he might wind up fulfilling the prophecy he delivered on Red Man. Despite Dirk claiming that he can still smell a snitch a mile away, the truth is that he appears to have had a few of his kids, and now it came back to bite him. Look, Dirk, they picked up like feds. I don't know if they were charged. Jam, they said they've been calling him a rat, 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 and basically he said, okay, I'm a rat, well, watch this, watch this, there's all this information that I know, rat this, I'm gonna tell this, I'm gonna tell that, my video earlier, I told you, if somebody saves Dirk's name, that's all it's gonna take to save that man. And although it's alleged that there are a few informants, OTF Jam is the one who's being pinpointed as the man that was wearing a wire and had given Dirk up. But unfortunately, all this proves is that once there are big prison terms being dangled in front of people, even lifelong friendships can go wrong. In a recent interview, Jam reveals that he and Dirk have been tight long before the fame. Two years. About two years. Yeah, my time. Ain't told him nobody. I ain't told you on nobody, no food shit on my name. Now you're a fucking rat now, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, the way he looking though, he is looking and shit like that. Like hell yeah, huh? But for you to say that and then go right there and then snitch now, like, so why would you like even throw that up in the shit? Like, what nigga gonna say you now, yo, bro? You snitched on dirt for real, bro? I thought you said the fucking thing and shit like that, man. I, like you ain't got that like no food shit on your name, bro. Let me look that other, that other nigga name up, man. Let me see that other nigga. What happened in jail with that, him and that other nigga? Jam, 